Hey everyone, welcome back to Software Testing Hacks. Today I am back with another new topic, which is Is it required to do certification? Okay, can I do ISTQB certification now? So you might be having a lot of questions as well. Today let's talk about those questions in this video. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more software testing related updates. First question. Now, can I do ISTQB certification? You can do ISTQB certification now also. But the thing is, if you are in the range of zero to three years of experience, then I would suggest you to do it, you know, mandatorily. But since if you have, if you have crossed certain like four, five years, it is not recommended because at that point of time, you would have acquired a lot of the knowledge, right? But it is always better to have ISTQB certification if you are in the entry level. But is it really required to do certification? Okay, you might be having this question too. It is not mandatory to have certification, but it is a good thing if you are, you know, in an organization, okay, and if you are planning to switch. Now, the certification plays an important role here, okay. At that time, you will be having a more preference over the other candidates since you have a certification, okay. So, certificates really do help us in the career. So, I would say it is better to have certification some point of time you may get stuck there are no certifications from a valid board kind of thing okay uh, in the next video i'll be talking about what all the certifications that you can have and from uh, where you can have in the next video we will talk about it okay and another question would be that what else certification i can do you can also do aws certification AWS certification is also very much important or very much uh, of high uh, priority now in the sense right now cloud is in the bank okay suppose if you are someone who is working in a cloud industry or uh, is someone who is using cloud systems like AWS okay at that time at that point of time you might have an advantage of doing the aws certification over the other person and also if you're trying to switch from uh, uh, you know testing to development or something like that this will help you so that's the reason another certification what you can have is aws certification apart from that before you take up any of the certifications okay so it is better to have a good knowledge of it so first go through some of the trainings Okay, if you're looking for certain courses like uh, related to APM or related to Selenium, okay, or Playwright, I, I will leave certain links in the description, check that out and avail th those courses with a coupon code there. So you will get 25% discount as well. With the help of the tutorials, first you learn. Learning is a very important curve, basically. If you have a good knowledge, you are upskilling. So you have to have a proper knowledge of it. So then after only you can take up certain certifications. Okay. So basically these are the important things you have to keep in mind before you do a certification. In the next video, we will talk about certain other certification that you can do. Okay. Let us meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.